Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CFO of Poet Technologies, Inc., Thomas Mika. How you doing today, Thomas? I'm great, Rich. Nice to meet you and meet your audience. And thanks for the invitation. My hey, pleasure. You. My pleasure. Thank Excited you. to have you on the show. I have a Thank few you. questions for you, Thomas. And the first one is, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Poet Technologies, Inc.? Absolutely. Hey, before we get going, I'd like to refer your audience to our safe harbor statements that are in virtually all of our presentations uh, that we give uh, just for the risks there. So you should rely on the filings, obviously. Thank you. So I joined Poet a little more than five years ago. I'd come off of a career of managing, at the beginning, small startups at first, and then finally as CFO, CEO, and chairman of a NASDAQ company in the semiconductor equipment business. My one-year contract uh, after being acquired by another company was up, and I was looking for something where my knowledge and experience could really make an impact. It didn't take me long to figure out after interviewing with Suresh Venkatesan, who's our CEO, and the board of directors that he had, particularly what it takes to make it across the finish line with time and a lot of hard work. So I joined with the understanding that I would shield the CEO from as much of the distractions uh, from his management of the technology development as I could, you know, the admin, legal, financial, investor relations, everything else that a small public company has to deal with. Fantastic. Can you also tell us some of the milestones Poet Technologies Inc. has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? Well, the big one is trading on the NASDAQ, which is about to come to fruition. We should be trading on the NASDAQ capital market sometime next week, sometime between wow. Monday and Friday of next week. So most of the other milestones have to do with things like product introductions, acquiring customers, and beginning volume manufacturing. Um, there's going to be a lot happening in, in our company in 2022. Fantastic. I'm excited to see the NASDAQ listing and watch you guys evolve and really grow. Now, Tom, can you tell us about the management at Poet Technologies, Inc., especially the past success in the public markets? Right. Well, we have an exceptionally strong management team for a company of 50, I guess it goes to 80 people if you include our joint venture in China, which is called Super Photonics. Before coming to Poet about six or seven years ago, Suresh Venkatesan, our CEO, CEO, was the chief technology officer for a company called Global Foundries, which is one of the largest semiconductor manufacturers in the world. He previously held senior positions at places like Freescale, and Freescale was part of Motorola. About two years ago, Vivek Raj Gurria joined as our president. He has an incredible track record in several public optics companies, including private companies that he started on his own that were acquired by larger public companies. Uh, just prior to joining Poet, he had been running the optical division of Maycom. Uh, you know, we have an incredibly strong team, even below um, Vivek. We have strong individuals in engineering, operations, and finance. We have offices in Toronto, Allentown, Pennsylvania, Singapore, and Shenzhen, China. Wow, seems like you guys are really growing. Now, the company recently announced product demos and technology showcase event at OFC and you appointed a new product management executive. Can you tell us about some of the products, how the new appointment will help the success of the company? Great. Well, the OFC stands for Optical Fiber Conference, and it's being held in San Diego next week. And it's the largest trade show in the United States in our industry. Wow. There are actually bigger ones in China, believe it or not. 
And we're doing live demonstrations of our products there, of two particular products that we, in fact, announced uh, this morning. Uh, you know, we believe that there are going to be many potential customers, business partners, uh, you know, who will be astounded at what they will witness. We're, we're showing truly disruptive next generation products there. Poet is really at the forefront of something that's called silicon photonics. That's at the that's revolutionizing communications. We move data at light speed for many of today's data hungry technologies, from data centers to health sensors, from the Internet of Things to 5G, from artificial intelligence to electric vehicles. The release we put out this morning is about our latest product launch. I don't want to go too much into the technical details at all, even any of them. But if you read the release, you'll see that we're not the only ones referring to Poet's technology as being amazing. Uh, we also, regarding uh, Raju Kankipati, we posted on our YouTube channel this morning an interview with him. And we're really pleased that he's joined the company. He'll, he's gonna head up all the activities related to introducing the products to market, managing customer relationships and ensuring that we meet customer needs. You know, after four plus years of product development, he'll be the first executive in the company that's fully dedicated to that mission. So this is a key appointment for us. Congratulations on the appointment. If Poet Technologies Inc. were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? Well, for, for over 20 years, some of the largest companies in our industry, including Intel and others, have been trying to accomplish what we have in a little over four years, investing a little over $50 million of shareholders' money. Suresh and his team developed something truly unique and disruptive, and now Vivek and his team will bring it to market. On any given aspect of our technology, you might be able to point to something that works, but probably doesn't work any better than what ours does. But the real importance is that when you combine it all together, all the aspects of our technology, it's really truly unmatched by any competitor in the market today. Wow, so what we love to hear. Can you go through the capital structure of Poet Technologies for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional alongside more retail investors? Yeah, that's a good question. So last week we had some 365 million shares outstanding. Um, and it was 99.8% in retail hands. Uh, that was one of our biggest, that is one of our biggest challenges. So Today, now that we've consolidated our shareholding, thank you to the shareholders for allowing us to do that, we have over 36 million shares and we're trading at around $10 Canadian. Now we're no longer a penny stock. The institutions um, in Canada can now invest in us that were previously not able to do so because of being a penny stock. And that's particularly true in the United States. So next week, we'll be on the NASDAQ capital market, fingers crossed, where we'll be able to tap into a large number of institutional investors that really wouldn't talk to us before because we were both a penny stock, we were traded on the venture exchange, and we were OTC in the United States. Uh, and it's just not, it's for many institutional investors, that's kind of prohibited territory. So that's a real key change in our, in our capital structure. Um, we have no debt whatsoever. We have a strong balance sheet. And with that balance sheet, we're poised to attack the market. I love that. No debt, that's, that's, that's huge for us. Uh, tight share structure, that's huge for us. We've got investors from all over the world that are part of the community here at Rich TV Live. If there was one thing you would want uh, existing shareholders and potentially new shareholders to know about Poet Technologies, Inc. What would that be? We're at a very unusual time in the company's history. Um, 
for the first time in, in over four years in, in this new technology that we've developed, we have actual product in customers' hands. And we've only been able to deliver that product within the past couple of months. So everything that we've been telling them using PowerPoint presentations over the past four years, you know, many of many customers were skeptical that we could actually accomplish what we have accomplished. We can now show them that it's real and demonstrable. And, you know, we've, we've introduced these innovative disruptive products into huge fast growing markets, cloud data centers, artificial intelligence accelerators, and a couple of other large markets uh, that are represent opportunities that we can also go after. So that's the message I'd like to deliver, especially to new, new shareholders, because this is a good time, in my opinion, to invest in Poet. Now here at Rich TV Live, we love to put investors in contact with companies. So what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Poet Technologies, Inc.? Let me try something here. I think this might work. Sure. Can you see? Can you put it up a little higher? Yeah. Oh, here we go. There you go. Perfect. So tm at poet-technologies.com. That's it. And please feel free to email me. I don't, I can't answer all emails, but I answer most of them. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. The CFO of Poet Technologies, Inc., Thomas Mika. Now, before I say goodbye, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research, before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we do believe this is a company that, like Thomas says, has no debt, tight share structure, and is going to be going on the NASDAQ. So there's a lot of really good quality catalysts there and a lot of reason for investors to be excited. So in my opinion, you want to put Poet Technologies on your radar and on your watch list. Symbol in Canada is PTK. Symbol in America is P-O-E-T-F. You may find them at P-O-E-T-D right now. Once the D is removed, it will be P-O-E-T-F. So put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. And thank you for joining us today, Thomas Mika, the CFO of Poet Technologies. Thank you for joining us today, Thomas. It's been my great pleasure. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Wish you the best of luck. Love to invite you back if you guys ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss. We'd love to talk about it here on Rich TV Live. Now, I re must remind everybody that if you like these videos, it really helps if you smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe for future videos. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching because we bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Thomas Mika, the CFO of Poet Technologies, saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.